Welcome to another edition of Cycle Life, and in studio with me is a gentleman who will be riding all the way to Mount Kilimanjaro with his crew, Mr. Gareth Pickering. How are you? Good and you, Leroy. Thanks for having me. Now, tell me, how did this whole thing come about? Um, Joby to Kili is a, a cycle initiative with um, four cyclists, um, my partner Warwick and his wife Camilla. It was their idea and they came up with it probably around a year ago and they started planning when they decided that they were going to go. And firstly, their plan was just to climb Kili mm -hmm. and then they thought about potentially cycling to Kili and their subsequent idea was to raise money and create some awareness so they aligned with the Quebecer charity and um, then decided to make it a little more challenging so we decided to take the Quebec bikes that they basically sponsor and um, ride those bikes up to Kili. So we've been pretty lucky with the alignment with an awareness that's been created for Quebec by the Dimension Data team and how well they're doing in the tour. So the awareness that we create and the funds that we've raised so far, we've raised over 100,000 Rand already for that's Quebec. Um, that equates directly to bicycles. So Quebec, through what I explained earlier, Every single 100,000 Rand, that, well, 2,850 Rand that's raised equals a bicycle. So, so far we've raised 37 bicycles and uh, we hope to raise more as we create more awareness and we get more, more sponsors on board and um, more supporters that start to follow us. So why the, the choice in, in the Quebec bike? What makes it so special? Quebec has, um, it's based on the idea that they've done a study about how mobility uplifts communities and those communities are basically improved through the mobility that's created through bicycles. So the most obvious one is kids that walk more than an hour to get to school and that's a pretty, it's a pretty normal problem in rural areas and townships. So kids that would normally take an hour to get to school with a bicycle can get to school within around 15 minutes. The bikes are one size fits all, there's pretty, well, yeah. pretty much one size bicycle uh, which must cater for uh, school kids right up to Warwick who's 6'4 and um, <laughs> he's got a, yeah so he's had to have some modifications made to his bike but um, they're also Africa proof so those bikes are one gear very few moving parts so um, if anything goes wrong with those we can we can hopefully fix them along the way with um, bush mechanics. Do you have sponsors currently on board supporting you guys? Yeah, we've been pretty lucky so far. We've got quite a few product sponsors, people that have um, donated things like food, uh, gear, some satellite type technology that, mm -hmm. uh, that have come on board. Uh, we've got some of our um, gear for getting up Kili being sponsored. And we're pretty close to negotiating a title sponsorship with the company at the moment. Uh, it may not necessarily be for the full amount that we want, but um, yeah, we've got a couple of other people that we're talking to and hopefully we get that um, lined up and secured before we leave on the 30th. Everybody can track us on our website, which is joburg 2 kilicom Joburg and then the number 2 kilicom all, right. all our social links are up there, including Facebook, Twitter, all of those sorts of things. And we have a donate page as well, so anybody that wants to support the Quebecer charity, all of the money that comes through our platform goes directly to Quebecer through the, through the give and gain um, page, which is on our website. And potential sponsors can reach out to us there, so it's joburg 2 kilicom Thank you very much. Cool.